Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'm going to do my first Dare to Compare for Flashback Monday. I'm going to be comparing the legendary Hawaii Five-0. As I'm sure everyone's aware, Hawaii Five-0 has been on the air for quite a while now, but believe it or not, that show is actually a remake compared to its original counterpart, which started in 1968. The original Hawaii Five-0 is a true classic. The episodes are quite legendary for their action, their drama, and all kinds of great mystery that it had going for it. There were times you knew who the bad guy was and you could watch them hunt him down, but quite often there was a real sense of mystery. This was a real awesome cop show, the kind of cop show that everyone needed back in the day, the kind of stuff that everyone just loved to watch. It's more dramatic, more unrealistic, but it gets your attention. Hawaii Five-0 is a, a special task force led by Steve McGarrett and his team. They dealt with all kinds of bad guys, from drug dealers, drug lords, common criminals, gangsters, assassins, and most notably, Chinese spies, or I should say a Chinese spy in particular, named Wo Fat, who was Steve McGarrett's arch nemesis. But of course, what really made this show was the fact that they had a great cast. Jack Lord plays Steve McGarrett, James MacArthur plays Dano, Kim Fong plays Chin Ho, Zulu plays Kono, and of course, Wo Fat is played by Kai Dei. And I'll tell you a little fact about Kai Dei. Believe it or not, he was not Chinese. He was actually descendant from Anglo-Egyptian Sudanese ancestry. He just looked so Asian that he was chosen for Chinese parts, especially this one. The cases that Steve and the team take are great enough, but I'll tell you, when you get Wo Fat in on this, it's like Sherlock Holmes versus Professor Moriarty. It's a whole battle of wits, until finally in the end, on the final episode, Steve McGarrett finally gets him and throws him in jail. But of course, they leave the door open that it looks like he's going to escape. He's a spy. Of course they had to do that gag. The show was so great that it went on for 12 years. That is quite a long run, especially back then. And it's not hard to see why, because it had so much action and drama in it, you never knew what was going to happen or what kind of challenges they were going to face. And I know everyone was always waiting for McGarrett to say, book him, Dano. But believe it or not, he never really said that as often as commercials and pop culture would lead you to believe. He only said that once in a while. But he did actually say it, though. So it's not a TV myth, but you know, you're always waiting for him to say it because you're always hoping that he would say it one of these days, especially when they're on a really big case. You're just waiting for him to say, book him, Dano. It's no wonder why that line was so popular. A great show, a true classic. Anything I say about this show will not do it justice. I am not kidding. You would have to actually watch an episode or two or seven or ten to really see how great this show really is. Then in 2010, out of Hollywood's desperation, they decided to redo Hawaii Five-0. And you know what? I'm just going to come out and say it. This reboot is the biggest piece of sh that I've ever come across in my life. I am completely insulted by this show. I mean, it's just basically a cheap ripoff of a great show. The only difference here is, what do they do all the time? They fight terrorists! Oh sure, Wikipedia and IMDB will claim that they do deal with murders and stuff like that, but 90% of the time, they're fighting terrorists! They're even going out of Hawaii and dealing with drug lords, which is not how it works! This team acts like they're the U.S. Marshals, and they're not! The U.S. Marshals have the ability to cross states and capture bad guys, and the CIA has the ability to go out of country and deal with problems like this. Not them! And if that's not bad enough, the team is a joke. I mean, McGarrett. He's no longer Steve McGarrett. He's Commander McGarrett! Yeah, apparently in this story, he's a Navy SEAL, and he's still technically enlisted, so therefore, he is no longer just Steve McGarrett, he's Commander McGarrett. I come from a military family, I get it, and I have great respect for the military in every way. But come on, it was Steve McGarrett, not Commander McGarrett. Everybody's calling him Commander McGarrett in this show, even the civilians! People who never even met this guy are calling him Commander McGarrett. And Kono is played by a girl this time. I got a feeling that's where they got the idea for female Green Ranger from. 
what about Wolf Fat? Well, he's a terrorist, actually. Big surprise. Of course he had to be a terrorist, right? Because this show is all about terrorism. Oh, and it's not enough that he's a terrorist. He's also McGarrett's brother. Yeah, he's his brother. Oh, and McGarrett's mom, who actually made an appearance on this show a couple times, she's a spy. Oh, my God. Seriously, this has gone far enough. People, come on. Give it a rest. I know we're fighting a war on terror, but give it a rest. I am sick and tired of hearing about terrorism, terrorism, terrorism. The original Hawaii Five-O was a cop show, not a terrorism task force show. That's all this piece of trash is, a terrorism task force. I know, I completely lost it there, but this is just so downright insulting that it just makes me sick. This show is so terrible that it's enough to rival the remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still. They completely went modern with the whole show. It's super violent. The murders are downright gory. You practically watch people's arms and legs get cut off half the time. And not to mention, they have a torture chamber. Yeah, a torture chamber where they can torture prisoners. That's not what Hawaii Five-O was. This is what Hawaii Five-O was. A great, awesome cop show. Not a whole terrorism, torture room, international BS show. If there's any comparison to be made about this, I can put it in one sentence. The original show is a classic. The modern show is just propaganda for the war on terror. Bottom line, there's no comparison at all. I wouldn't even go near this modern piece of trash on a bet. The only reason I know what I know is because I had to look it up. That and I caught a couple episodes because a few friends forced me into watching it, and I was greatly insulted. Of course, I got the last laugh because I forced them to watch the original show, and they loved that one even better. So if there's a winner for this one, it's the original show, all the way. Like I said earlier, if you ever get a chance to watch the original Hawaii Five-O, watch that. That show is a true classic and a real great cop show. Don't even go near the 2010 version. Stick with the original. Trust me, you're better off. This is Movie Fan, signing off.